All right. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. What a beautiful day, huh? Isn't this gorgeous? This is um, two beautiful things. It's our weather and our new renovation to our downtown. Uh, I first want to thank our uh, Lufkin Forward team. I saw Hudson's in the crowd. Hudson, you want to raise your hand? Hudson Henderson. I had Ivory Ford, Ann Brookshire, Stacey Hodges, and Tavo. And so that was kind of the group that got this started. We kind of came up with this crazy idea during COVID. And we thought, okay, so what can we do when we come out of COVID that we can be ahead of our competition for jobs for our young people? And we hired a world-class uh, urban planner. They came up with the design. City Council and my 4B was gracious enough to give us the money. It is, here's one little interesting fact. We allocated almost three million. We were gonna do the entire street. Inflation was so bad that we were only able to do this portion. But here's what I would tell you about that. It's the wisdom of the council and the leadership like the mayor and others that allowed to take one step. So we're not gonna get farther down the road if we don't at least begin. So this is just the beginning of great things for Lufkin. We've got a lot of other things. Uh, I call them generational projects. And so we'll be seeing those, uh, those in the future. That would be in Marsh Frank Park and uh, uh, partner with the, the county, Keith Wright in the airport. I think there's tremendous uh, opportunities there. Okay, so I want to thank everyone for being here, all the elected officials can't call them out by name, but we, ha we do have one guest that I want you guys to meet. His name is Eduardo DePerkla. Eduardo is the CEO of Gattafosse. Gattafosse is a fourth generation family uh, in Lyon, France, and they chose Lufkin, Texas to build their uh, research and development facility at the business park. And so I met Eduardo uh, he, I, years ago, and uh, I would tell you that they're super good people, they're a super good employer, and they're here for the long run. So I just want to let Eduardo have a minute. Eduardo. Thank you, Bob. It's a great pleasure to be here today. Uh, I was out in New Jersey and when uh, this week and when uh, Bob said to me, well, we're going to have a special event in Lufkin with the downtown and Lufkin being very close to my heart, even though I don't live here, uh, I said, I'm going to make every effort I can to be here. So it's great to be here in this special moment for the city. And I think it's a great job. And as you said, Bob, this is a wonderful start. Thank you. So when, Ed when Eduardo first came to Lufkin, the mayor and I had uh, dinner with Eduardo, and uh, the mayor asked him, said, Eduardo, of all the cities you could have chosen in the United States, what, what did you like most about Lufkin? And he said, downtown. He said, I really, really like your downtown. So that's just a testament that we're doing the right things to attract these uh, corporations. To, to come in and uh, so this is just not only a beautification but it's also a testament to our desire to have long-term generational jobs in Lufkin, Texas. Okay now it's my honor to turn it over and let our United States Congressman Mr. Pete Sessions have a word. Well, thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. It is a beautiful day. By the way, it was, uh, I live in a suburb of Lufkin. I live in Waco. <laughs> it was 104 degrees as we got out of church. It's been a hot summer. Today is a cool day to be in Lufkin, Texas. And we're delighted to be here. I will tell you that Bob and our young mayor have made decisions not just on your behalf, but with you that I consider to be very important, not just for the future, but really for us to show the citizens of this community their pride is free of things that make Lufkin, Texas 
work. A couple of years ago, I got an opportunity. I, I got invited, and for some reason, I keep inviting me back for the Christmas party. The Christmas at a party, and then the opportunity to make sure that you have a great parade where people of this community get together. If there's one thing that I, as a member of Congress and any elected official, whether it's a county judge or mayor or sheriff, we're for stability. We're for making things work. We're for passing to not just our children, but really our grandchildren who many times can come and be a part of a community event. The pride of authorship of where they live. Being a Texan, knowing that they can count on each other in a time of need. I represent some 14 counties across Texas, and it gives me a chance to see lots of communities, lots of, so to speak, 14 county judges, 14 sheriffs, and an incredible number of mayors. And I have found that here, you make it work. People gather together. So I drove down here last night. These beautiful lights that are up. Uniqueness of Lufkin, Texas to add to its downtown and to build on it. So an opportunity to be here with you today is important. I'm going to end now because I only want to do well enough to get invited back. <laughs> One nation under God, love in Texas. God bless you. Oh, I was supposed to have said something good about Bob. I said, <laughs> Bob, I said, Bob, what do you want me to say? He said, just talk about how great I am. I said, Bob. Everybody already knows that. That's redundant. <laughs> Bob, you're doing a great job, and I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Congressman, and uh, I agree with you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so before I turn it over to the mayor, I wanted to recognize a, a group of people that we really uh, have a soft spot in our heart and want to really thank them for their tenacity and their desire to go through this project with us. That's our downtown merchants that were affected by, the, by our closure. So I would tell you this, I spoke to one of them and I was like, hey, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be okay eventually. And they're like, hey, we're playing the long game. We're not, we're not down here for six months. We're, we're here to be here forever. And when they knew and they saw the vision that the Lufkin Forward team had, that this was gonna benefit them in a lot of different ways. So um, hats off to, let's give another round of applause to the. So uh, thank you very much for that. Next, uh, it's my great honor and privilege to introduce the mayor of Lufkin, Texas, Mark Hicks. Young mayor. Thank you very much. I'll try to keep this short because Bob's generally long-winded. So, <laughs> I want to tell you a little story about downtown Lufkin. We began focusing on downtown Lufkin. In fact, I see Barbara Thompson down there. I want you to come up here for a minute. Come on, come on. Barbara Thompson was our former Main Street director. So this all started with the sidewalk, the original sidewalk renovation project. You remember what year that was? Oh, you put me on the spot. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't mean to. It was early 2000s. Yeah, that's right. And Barbara was the Main Street director shortly thereafter. Don Glover was here. We did a grant, a state, with state and federal funds to redo the sidewalks initially. Right. In 2007, the city of Lufkin took on the project of revitalizing the Pines Theater. If you were down here, you, kn you know what this theater looked like and what rough shape it was in. And the city saw the vision and uh, they voted to, uh, to revitalize it and look at it today. It's, it's spectacular. It's a huge draw for the downtown area. We have all sorts of events here on an ongoing basis. The Angelina Arts Alliance uh, uh, manages that for us now and you guys do a great job and we're excited about what the future holds there. I want to ask the city council to come up here and I want to ask the Lufkin Forward group to come up here as well. 
Come on, guys. Is there anybody else here today? All right. So in 2020, the Lufkin Forward Group was created to look into ways to improve the downtown area, what we could do to improve walkability, how we would improve the overall feel of downtown, and uh, how we can make it a more positive place to be for our residents. And we want to offer the finest facilities and places we can for the people that live here in Lufkin. And we put a group together. They sent out, or actually, I'm sorry, got a thousand responses from the surveys that were sent out. And that covered what, what do people in Lufkin want to see downtown. So a thousand people told us what they want to see downtown. And we took that and we kind of put it all together and we formulated a plan. We brought an engineering firm. And yes, like Bob said, the initial budget was huge. We had to scale back in some areas, but I think we ended up with a spectacular, uh, a spectacular product. And I just want to say from the very onset, our elected officials, our city admin, Kevin Gee, Keith Wright, they, they have always believed in what we try to do in this community. And, and we get things done in Lufkin, Texas because we work together. And this wasn't a project that we had three out of two council members vote for. This was a project that 100% of the people that had a voting right on this voted in favor of it. And I appreciate that because you guys see the vision. That same thing happened with Morris Frank Park. The thing about Lufkin, Texas, we're not afraid to step out there and do things. And we're going to continue to do things to improve this community and make it spectacular. We want it to be a draw for people that visit our community and people that live here. We want you to have the very finest. I also want to have Terry Hendricks and Natalie. I want you all to come up here for a minute. These, these two ladies do a phenomenal job in managing the downtown and managing all the events and aspects of entertainment that we do here in Lufkin, and I think you are doing a fine job, and I want you to know that. I know it's not always easy, but you do a great job. We're excited about what the future holds for downtown Lufkin. Bob, I think you took an opportunity to mention all the members of the Lufkin Forward crew. I also want to thank, well, the Lufkin City Council, the City of Lufkin admin and staff, Goodwin last year, Strong, and Langston Construction and Lufkin, Lufkin Economic Development Corporation, who all played a part in this project. And I also want to make this point because I think it's very important to understand. People ask sometimes, why, why do we focus so much on downtown? Okay, well, I want to ask you this question. When somebody comes to Lufkin, when you have a visitor coming to Lufkin, a family member, where do you take them to in our community? Downtown Lufkin has always been the heart of this community and will always be the heart of this community. We have other great attractions here in Lufkin, but this, this is a place where we gather, where we come together. And I think it's important, too, to, to, admit, to, to follow up what Eduardo said. And for you guys to understand this, we work extremely hard to bring new companies to Lufkin. This community is so much more diversified than it was 20 years ago when I grew up here. But a very important factor these days is not tax abatements. It's not how much money is the city going to give you to bring your company here. It's quality of life. It's young people, where they want to be, where they want to work. And I will tell you, time and time again, when we bring CEOs into Lufkin, Texas, they fly in to Angelina County Airport, and they come downtown, they're looking for a community that's welcoming, that's positive, that wants young people to be here, and has a bright future. And we have that in Lufkin, Texas. And I think it is so important for everyone to understand that we're going to continue to work together, the city, the county, the federal government, the state. I know if Trent Ashby's probably out of town today, but he would be here today supporting what we're doing. But we have a lot of very good people in place right now to make some phenomenal things happen for this community. So thank you for being here today. It's amazing, this wonderful crowd. You guys truly support, support this or you wouldn't be here. So thank you again for being here. So real quickly before we depart, I want a couple of people I want to say thank you to. Kevin, Kevin Langston, raise your hand. Kevin is the, the general contractor of the project. Hometown boy, I've known Kevin a long time and his parents, and we're super proud that Langston did the job they did. Uh, second, I want to thank uh, April Holcomb. April, April uh, works with me, and it's a tough job putting up with me sometimes. So I guess at the end of the day, all I want to say is thanks to everyone. Thank you for the support of the city, the county. Thank you for the support of each other. And let's go make some good things happen. Thank you.
stand right here for the ribbon cutting. Oh, we're going to, would everyone come up and we're going to do a ribbon cutting. All right, y'all ready? Three, two, one. Love, Love you. Perfect. Okay, now cut the ribbon. Yeah. <laughs> now everybody move back. <laughs>